Hello, welcome back to Dot Hack. Before we continue finding out about the avatars and stuff like that, I want to see if I can talk to Doc Dr. Kubo, um, who's not in this building. <laughs> Let's see if I can talk to Dr. Kubo about um, the uh, Chim Kicker quest or Chim Kicker Quamp. Quamp. What? Let me try and speak again. The Chim Kicker campaign. Please go and collect the Chim Chim data. Any type of Chim Chim is fine, but where else you yield more data? No, nah, he still doesn't want to tell me about it. Fine. In that case, let's go uh, see what the uh, number of emails I got were about. It's like. It's like being at work and having to keep up with all the important uh, emails of important things. Yeah, four new emails. I tell you. The last one was, was full of surprises, wasn't it? There was the monster that looked like a bug and a system administrator. But most of all, that person beneath the lake's tree felt very strange. Where do you think that sound I heard from his direction? Sincerely, XP. Yeah. Thanks to everything that happened, we never did get much XP, did we? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You're just like, yeah, whatever. It's weird, but I need to level up. I almost forgot. Hey, Hasio, how are you doing? That place the other day was pretty rough, wasn't it? Uh, we never thought we'd encounter PKs. Blah. By the way, I forgot to tell you about settings for the skill trigger menu. Of course, you probably know that since you're the terror of death. Uh, anyway, triangle, skill trigger, current skills and skill trigger panel will be displayed. You can change them as you wish. It would be a waste if you weren't using the skills you have. So once you learn a new skill, open the skill trigger menu and check out the panel settings. Oh, just in case, I'm going to write down the other basic battle stuff. Uh-huh. Um, quick rise and rise attack, use them when you're knocked down. Uh, also don't forget you can enter area words at the Chaos Gate to access a bunch of different area lev uh, different le levels. Speaking of which, we should go grind levels sometimes. We could even invite Gaspard. Happy face! Another thing. So to keep emailing you, do you know about customization? Uh, set customize, equipment, yeah. No, about that. Once you get the hang of customization, will really help you out playing the game. For example, when fighting a war element monster, customizing a weapon with fire, the opposing element, will make it much easier for you to win. As for opposing elements, there are six different elements, etc. This is um, something that they mentioned at the forum. Um, so yeah, and uh, the invitation to HQ. Come to the at home located in Macanu's mercenary district. Uh, I'll take you to our guild, Raven. Oh, and don't tell anyone else about this. It's a sensitive matter for us to communicate with this specific players. CC Corp. There's a good chance that no players would. No matter how insignificant it might be, as long as I can get some info on Shino, the triage, I don't care. Kun's right in waiting for me in the Mercenary District. I better hurry. And there's his uh, member addressing. It looks like he's got a gun blade. Girls I like a lot. Girls I don't like none. Oh my god! <laughs> he's supposed to be like a figure of authority and stuff. And wow. I'm not filled with uh, confidence in his ability to be unbiased then. It's like, yay, girls! I'm supposed to meet Kun in the mercenary district. Yep. It's just there as well. Let's warp over, because. you know. It's too long to walk. And there he is. Hey there, Hasio. What? 
What's with the scary face? You mad at me or something? Love it, just hurry up and take me to this raven place. Um, you don't like me, do you? Sad face. Get real. Okay, so let me explain it to you. At home, it's a specialized room that each guild has in the game. And guilds are compromised if any good players that form their own group. To put it simply, a guild is like a baseball team. And at home is like the team dugout where everybody hangs out while playing the game. At home is a place allocated to each guild, increase, increasing the guild rank. They have more rooms and more useful functions. <laughs> hmm. But it doesn't matter to a solo player like me. Let's go. Stop! Hold it! Actually, it does matter to you. Listen, buddy, to get into at home, you need a pass called a guild key for that guild. A guild key is required to enter at home. Guest keys are available for non guild members in order to enter. So, here you go. Take it. Acquired Raven key. Enter the Raven at home by using the Raven guest key and selecting Raven at the door. Easy as that. Alrighty, let me officially welcome you to our guild Raven. Hasho, make yourself comfortable. You're the old hag from the other day. Huh? You two know each other? Of course not! Ha <laughs> ha, wink. This is Pai. She's a member of Raven, like me. And Pai, this is... I okay, get now, so that thing the other day was all just to invite me here. Well, get this, Granny. You can try to seduce me. Well, hags don't interest me. I get that creature just picturing you in real life. What? Get this guy out of here right now, King. I don't care if he's the chosen one. You can't leave us after someone like this. Unfortunately, Pai, I'm afraid that decision is up to Yata. Yata? There's no need to involve Master Yata. I say Yata. Person? Be quiet! I'm sure you can understand. Yes, he's here. What? Hello? Are you sure? But sir, he's... I understand. Come with me. Master Yata will see you now. Creepy corridor. What is this place? It's pretty bleak, that's for sure. Oh, it's an Ouroboros. Reverse. Welcome to the Serpent of Law, Hasio. It took you quite a a long time to get here. I've been waiting for you. Are you the Yata that Kun and the Hag were talking about? Nice up. So is this an administration only area? I've heard of them, but I didn't know they actually existed. I'm sure it's all right to let a regular player like me in here. Won't your boss get mad at you, Mr. Admin? Nice to meet you. Though it feels very strange to be saying that to you. I've been watching you for quite some time. Like that's not creepy. Wow. There's been development in the world that defies the system parameters. One of the effects, or perhaps 
I should say, targets of that development, is there a variety of phenomena manifested yet in, in the world? You yourself have experienced one of those developments, the free, forced reformatting of your character data. You've been spying on, my, on Hatsio's past? Who the hell gave you the right to? You are the one who called me an admin, right? To administer means to observe, to protect, and to manage. Both triage and the phenomena that happened to you are under my administration. We have only upheld the obligations of our job. A bug that is not a bug. I do the kind of phenomena would never exist in the world, but you can see it indeed does exist. Our overall designation for this phenomena is Ada. For now, none of the general users of the game know anything about it. That is somewhat to be expected at its current level. However, You've already encountered it, and you have seen firsthand the sort of threat and danger it possesses. You have seen it and experienced it yourself. Triage. The name of the skill he had used to you, only you is called Data Drain by us. Data Drain? Whatever it is, I've never heard of the skill. It can actually lower your lev. You already understand what I'm referring to. That triage is a phenomenon that defies the system parameters. You mean triage is ADA? Perhaps. We cannot deny the possibility. Don't give me that. How the hell could an admin not know a single reason for a bug's existence? Investigating a bug that's not a bug is difficult. Likewise, we're also investigating what happened to the character known as Shino, as well as her player. What? So you guys knew all along that the real life Shino is in a coma? We would try, we'd like to try and understand the connection is between an online PK and a player becoming comatose before this pro little problem of ours has time to become public knowledge. <laughs> what are you talking about before it becomes public knowledge? Are you trying to cover it up for yourselves? It's your fault that Shino, that she's gone. I'm afraid that is not true. It is not our fault that she became comatose after the incident. The one that injured her, as well as the one that leveled you down, is triage. Isn't that correct? You guys are responsible for letting it happen. Then, are you saying that we should have shut down the game entirely? I do not believe so. After all, the key that is needed to solve the riddle of Ada, Triage, and the comatose players is right here in this game, the world. We share a common interest. Are you telling me to cooperate with you? I don't get it. How's my cooperation, cooperation going to help you guys out? It's simple. The only thing we want from you, Hasio, there's a power that is hidden inside of your character. Your character was especially created by CC Corp for their past project. Power? Project? You mean my character is somehow special? That's correct. You are a chosen one. Characters like your Yours are known as epitaph users. Kun and P are epitaph users as well. That hag. At this point, the only ones capable of combating Ada are you, Apitaph. I can't say it. Beak. So, this character is one of them, huh? This better not be some really elaborate new event or something. In other words, you're telling me that you guys need me. To help you with debugging the game, right? As I made clear to you earlier, we want nothing more than to contain these unruly phenomena. 
And the only that can do that are, in fact, the avatars. And avatars are an Apatash user's power, right? Yeah. But I don't know how to use anything like that. That's because your avatar has not yet awakened. So then basically I just have to learn to use that part of the thingy. If I can learn to use that, then I can go off and get try it. Shino. If I help you guys out, I'll be able to use those avatar things, right? Of course. It would be rather troublesome for us if you could not. Sure thing, I'll help you out. But I won't take any orders from anyone. Understand? This is my only condition. Wait! It's dangerous for a player like him to gain that kind of power. Master. <laughs> He's saying to be quiet, you old hag. Oh, and he's harsh. Why are you using a player like him? His avatar would have eventually awakened with or without our help. You must really, you must already know that. As you can see and feel, his avatar has already started to awaken. I heard you've joined GU. Glad to have you with us. GU? Yeah, well, didn't Yara yeah, explain it to you? The guild name that we use, Raven, is just a front. While our group is really called, it's GU. <gasps> like the title of the game. What's that? I heard it was a project name for the CC Core. Whatever. I don't care. I just need you to hurry up and tell me how to summon. My avatar. How to summon the avatar, huh? Come on already, I'm in a hurry here. So, um, correct me if I'm wrong here, but... Are you thinking that there's some specific spell to summon, summon an avatar? That's not. No, but if there were, we would have, we would have it a whole lot easier. Okay, then how do you summon yours? Well, I would. I think it would probably be better to show you while we're out adventuring. Wouldn't you agree? Then let's go! Doesn't matter what area it is. Well, yeah, I suppose that's true. But unfortunately, I've got an appointment to keep. I'll be sure to contact you later. Hey, wait! Damn it! What the hell? Oh, well, I guess I'll just head back to town then. Several guilds have opened guild shops in the general district. You may find new discoveries and unexpected encounters. Check memoir if you want your department. I'm checking out these guild shops. If I run home, or run back to the... Um, I thought I tested at school the other day. I guess it was to be expected though as soon as I play this game instead of studying. That's um Yeah, that's the thing that happens, isn't it? Is Dr. Cuba still saying the same thing? Yep. Yeah. Let's see if we can see any of these guild shops. Hi there. Hey, are you enjoying the world? I can't trade with any of the people. Mm -hmm. I kind of like the sort of. Oh, well, it's not quite industrial, but is it? Is it? But sort of ever so slightly in places a little bit industrial okay Dr. Keppel's house 
The door is locked, you can hear the steam machines from inside. His, his name, her name's actually a half. Hey, are you that guy in black and red? Can you take care of those PKs that were after me before? Maybe. Ah, what's that big swirly circle on the uh, mini map? Is there going to be some kind of like a uh, thing? Kind of say, this is not happening. Schrodinger! I thought all the urban leisure fuss has died down, but it seems like it's picking back up. Do you know about Schrodinger's cat? A little bit, actually, yeah. Um, it's the idea that in quantum theory, in quantum physics, that something either is or isn't, or it's positive or it's negative, and it's only when you observe the thing that it becomes one or the other. Like, like the idea is that if you put a cat in a box, that cat is either dead or it's alive. And you opening the box determines which way it is. Yeah. It's a theory that says until you confirm everything for yourself, everything is a possibility. He, he, the, yeah, he said it a lot better. Oh, these, this must be the guild stores. Danger! Oh, Gaspar. Are you having fun running into me? What? Please help me! <laughs> First, get off of me! Move! Now what am I to do? I mean, I was supposed to open up the shop together with Syllabus. But when we finally got to open the shop up, there wasn't close uh, enough to being enough inventory in our storage. What are we going to do? There's no time left. What should we do? Our customers will be here any minute now. Are there any rare items? No. I need to restock on, let me think, 10 black beans and 10 almond jelly. 10 Asian mangoes and 10 caramel sauces. Yeah, I think that's what we're missing right now. Well, they're sold in other shops. Just buy them and sell them yourselves. Oh, you're right. Then, then, then. Hasso, come on, help me buy all the supplies that we need. Huh? Why do I have to help you? Here's the money, Hasio. Wow, 3,300. I said I'm not doing this. Oh, come on, Hasio. Go buy and deliver the Asian mangoes and the caramel sauces. The syllabus when he gets here in the central district, okay? Great. Thank you so much for your help. Are you kidding? How did I get involved in all of this? Oh, the hell of it. I guess I help him just this one time. Let's see. Asian mangoes, caramel sauce. Ten of each. Give him to Syllabus in the Central District when he gets here. Asian mangoes. Look around. Oh, okay. Oh wow! They got equipment. There is an equipment item limit that is based on the player's job and level. The player's graphic at the bottom left of the screen will darken if he or she cannot equip that item. Please be careful when you're shopping. Right, so... Apart from not having anywhere near enough money. Cool.
Let's uh, go to the... Oh, I suppose it wants me to walk down there to see what that swelly blue circle of awesomeness is. Yay, doing things the long way. Run, Hasio, run! Actually, I just can't read a map. That's right where I was standing. And saying up at the top. <laughs> but that's not anything to do well. At least it seems it's not anything to do with what I want. Right, mercenary. This is where um Gaspard gave me nowhere near enough cash. Uh, the match guy who shops old Asian mango. Sweet. It's right behind me. Ten Asian mangoes. Nope. Ten. Camera sauce at the dome. Dome. And that's going to be where you get the caramel sauce from. I think the kiosk. Kiosk? Kiosk sold caramel sauce. Through here. 10 caramel sauces. Uh, bye. Yeah, I don't think um, he stiffed me with the money. That seems about right. Yeah, thing. Yeah, he gave me fair three hundred. Yeah. Good. I'd have to have to. I'd hate to have to break Gaspard's leg for uh, owe me money. Hey, syllabus. <laughs> Got them. Thanks a lot for helping us out, Hasio. Once Gaspard gets here, we'll be all set. Hey, what are you guys doing? Oh, I guess you've never done it before. Done what? Well... Manage your shop. You want me to explain how it works? Not really. Come on, Hasio. I think it would be good for you to learn what normal players do. <laughs> well, anyway. Gaspard sure is taking his time shopping for all of this. I wonder what's up with him. What? It's a short mile from Gaspard. Apparently he got lost. Sad face. Man. Could that guy get any dumber? I've got to go find him. Let me tell you, I'm not moving an inch. Great. See you when I get back. You're now in charge of Shop Acorn. Huh? Will do me a favor? Oh, these guys. Don't be ridiculous. Just go out and close it. Close it down where you're gone. I can't do that. Our best customers will be here soon. So what? Just leave me out of this. You don't have anything to do, right? Or are you just afraid of dealing with the customers? What? Like hell I am. You'll be fine. Manners are very important, even online. Remember to greet them properly. What am I, a preschooler? See ya! <laughs> uh, those guys. How do I get stuck doing this? Excuse me. Welcome. Down there. <laughs> She's tiny. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Oh, uh, excuse me, mister. But there's a item I really want. Sure, what is it? It's called a dusty miller. Do you think you might have it? Um, let's see, it looks like we've got just one. It's 6,000 gold pieces. So, do you want it or not? Oh yeah, sure, but I don't have enough money for it. You don't? Then I can't sell it to you. I was asked to watch over the shop, you know. I don't got to do the... I've got a job to do the right way. If you want something, you'll have to save up for it. True. I did save. But it looks like... It looks like it's there. Your money's gone. <laughs> hey, don't you even remember how you spent your own money? No, I don't know. After all, it was Saku's turn up until yesterday. What? Saku's turn? Saku's my big sister. Well, Saku was the one who was using the character yesterday. So then basically, you and your sister share that character by taking turns playing. Yeah. You told me your sister used all the money that you'd been saving up to buy it. What a great sister. No, really. That's fine. I was just going to buy her a birthday present with that money anyway. It's no big deal. Birthday? Yeah, you see, we're twins. So it's actually my birthday as well. Your birthday, huh? Fine then, I guess I'll give you a discount. Oh, really? Yeah. And give my best to your sister. Okay, thank you so much. Sold Dusty Miller. How much did I sell it for though? Oh, by the way, my name is Bo. I promise I'll pay you back next time I come here. Okay, Hasio? So she's Saku, and he's Bo, so Saku and Bo. Uh, welcome to... It's you. Well, this is unexpected. I never thought that you'd do these kinds of things, Hasio. But your smile and that greeting you gave to that boy was perfect and natural. Maybe you work in a retail store in real life. Or like at a video rental place or something. Jeez, you're annoying. You're not going to buy anything. Shop and get lost. How rude. I will buy something. I'll be sure to make my contribution to the shop acorn. I wonder why I'm not the least bit excited about that. Hey, so what do you recommend? See, not bad, huh? Kill shops are a pretty decent selection to choose from. <laughs> well, you're totally right. Everything's so much cheaper here than it is in the NPC shops. To be honest, I don't really want to... Didn't want to bring you ladies here. Well, why not? Because then your eyes and attention will be rude to something else. Other than me! Oh my god, what a tip. And I just can't help but try and monopolize your beautiful eyes for as long as I possibly can. <laughs> oh this is what the guy is doing instead of helping me save the world. Oh shit. <laughs> I can't do He's talking so much crap as well. <laughs> yo, Hasio, long time no see. What do you mean, yo, you jerk? You sure look like you're having fun with these ladies here. <laughs> oh no, this is just, well... I've got an important appointment to keep. Did I really say that? While you are flirting with all those women, I've been stuck here at the shop 
I've been. Ah, <sighs> oh, everyone's here now. It's the guild master. Well, Con, you're really popular, aren't you? Um, yeah, okay, I'll email you guys and girls later. Okay, see you then. Hey. So Kun used to be part of your guild, and he was the guild master? Our name, guild name Kainod comes from the stable I was going to play. As we choose that name because we thought it really represented Kun's dreams. To support first time players of the world and help them relax and enjoy it. When I got lost it was Kun that helped me. He was the one who rescued me. He taught us lots of ways to enjoy the game. I mean, you know how they say that the beginning to anything is key, right? I'm sure we wouldn't be playing like we are now if we hadn't, if we hadn't met Kuhn when we did. I wonder if I hadn't been PK'd on my first encounter that day I logged into this game. If I haven't met Oven then, and if I hadn't met Shino, if I hadn't come across Triage, would I be laughing and enjoying this game like these guys? What's wrong, Hasio? Oh, nothing. Of course, we know that Kun is gone. There was no one around to organize Kainod. So when did why did he leave? I'm not sure, really. But I said sign about not wanting to get us involved. Hmm. Hmm. And here I was thinking that he ki was kicked out of the guild for flirting too much. Oh, that. That's Kun's illness. If we worried about it, we'd never be able to keep up. An illness, huh? What? Kun is sick? Well, it's not life threatening. Nothing you have to worry about. You, you're still here? Yeah, well, you never told me to leave. Oh, I did. Stop signing my blind spot. Oh ho, so the terror of death? So this is the terror of death's blind spot? Now, now. Anyway, thanks for watching the store, Hasio. Yeah, sure. Business kind of sucked, though. Not at all. Hey, do you have any idea what Hasio did while he was gone? What are you guys chatting about? Oh, you gave a little boy a birthday present? Wow, you're such a nice guy, Hasio. Yeah, I guess you are. Damn girl. She really need, uh, needs to learn to shut up and... You see that? Everyone really does want to treat other people nicely. I think it's because people can be more honest online than they can in real life. Hey Hase, why don't you officially join Ka Ka Kainod? Huh? I mean, I think you've got some real leadership skills. And I second that thought, come on, let's do this together. I think it's a great idea. Let's act like you did before. Okay, fine, fine. But I'll be in name only. Hey, I'm a very busy guy. Alright, let's just take a little time to process you, but you should get an email later on. Okay then, glad to have you, Hasio. Our new Guildmaster! And instant promotion! What's this about Guildmaster? Like I said, you have leadership skills, Hasio. And this is your reward for watching this store. Here, see ya! Spirit drop. Oh no, sprite drop. Bye. I'll see you later. Is she so expecting to be soul sign? Now then, I'd better be going. Go! Leave already. 
Today we're having a meeting at Moontree to help the victims of trading fraud. Would you like to join too? No way! Okay, see you later then. You have new mail. But I'm gonna uh, finish that here. Because that was way too much in terms of talking and shenanigans. So, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.